Well, I'm, uh, I'm pretty disappointed, actually. Um, you know, I, it's... I was uh, under the impression that we were all acting as adults here. A uh, little common courtesy. Um, twice I went and spoke with uh, the Honourable Energy Minister. Went through the bill, all my concerns, everything highlighted. Talked to him and, you know, said, can you explain this or, or what do you think about this? Do you think we could change this? He said, yeah, you bet, we'll look at it. Mentioned yesterday, you know what, we're, get, we're getting these amendments ready. When I go through Parliamentary Council and get the actual stamp, I will give them to you. That is what I did. This has not been through Parliamentary Council. There's no stamp on here. The common courtesy should have been shared to say, hey, you know what? I've got 10 amendments that I'm going to share with, uh, with the House. Give us a heads up. Let us know. If he wanted the amendments before they were approved, we could have gave him a rough draft, but we might as well get it right the first time, like we're trying to do with this bill, get it right, give you the finished document so you can see it. Talk about the consultation. We, uh, you know, the, the Honourable House Leader talks about giving these amendments before. This is the first we've heard about it. At least they had, they had the heads up that we were bringing to all. We had no idea. The only one that was mentioned to me was number C. That was in the very first where he was, they were going to put public before notice. That was it. That's the only amendment I've heard of in this bill. Uh, the Honourable Energy Minister talked about consultations, how this bill was great. If the consultations were done and this bill was so great, why are, all the why are all these amendments coming forward? Exactly, on another yet flawed piece of legislation. Maybe it's a little bit of naivety on my part. Um, yes. Trying to be open, which it is. And I'm, I'm new, and I thought, you know, we're all acting as adults here. I will share, and I'm still going to be showing my amendments to them so that they have ample time to discuss with caucus and come to a, a decision and if they want to come back to me and say yeah you know what this one looks okay would you mind changing this sure we're here to work from day one I've said this bill is good for industry this bill is something that industry wants it's something that industry needs we support the theory behind this bill we just want to see some changes we want to see these changes in a democratic process which is in this house where we can debate back and forth, we can talk about it, we can exchange ideas and concerns and, and solutions to our problem to get it right the first time. Not to show up and underhand us and, and try to pressure us and, and trick us when, when, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I thought uh, I was being above board and, and trying to uphold, you know, the high morality of this chamber. Well, I guess, and does anybody have an oceanfront property in the middle of Alberta? Maybe I'll be looking for some new property. No, it's okay. So, I, you know, I, I hear from the other side how we should be acting, how we have to uphold this democratic process. And then, you know, things like this happen. It, it, it makes me wonder, you know, is this all a bunch of talk, all a bunch of fluff? that you just come across and do what you want anyways? Yes. Expect. What did you think? Well, you know what? He's new. He's new. It's time to change. I'm new, but maybe what, if, you, if it's always been, if it's, if it's always been done that way, the bar. does that make it right? Do you want no. to raise the bar? sat here for 15 years well, and not tried to change it? I mean, good luck. Right? Well, we're new. We've got high hopes. We've got maybe a little more energy. <laughs> Because we can't sit here till four o'clock in the morning. We, we can do that if that's what it's going to take. But, I, well, I know. I, okay. I, uh, I rescind that comment. Well <laughs> done.
But you know, this, this is something I mentioned yesterday when I talked about this bill. This is something that affects every single person in Alberta, one way or another. It's something that we need to get right. We need, we, we need more than two hours in the afternoon to hurry and hash and say yes or no to these amendments. This is something that's going to affect people's lives for many, many years. It's something that needs lots of time. And, and I, I respect the Honourable or the Honourable Environment Minister and SRD for taking the time to do the consultations. But, you didn't get it right, but since this bill has came forward, I've received emails. I mean, I got emails right here. Bill 2 of the Response to Energy Development Act is totally unacceptable. This piece of legislation will never be accepted by landowners of this province. This is from a property rights advocate group. I don't know if they were missing the consultation or, or if they didn't know about it or what happened. I, I'm not sure. But this is what we're hearing now. I'll show it to you after, if you'd like. You know, we, we need to take time and get this right. If we hurry through all this stuff and we're trying to change our amendments and make sub-amendments and, you know what, hurrying isn't going to make it right. Hurrying is going to hurry up and get it done and then we're going to say, oh, crap, this isn't right. We need to come back and we need to fix it. We'll say that. We'll say that. Well, sorry, I can't say crap, but I'm a... Pardon me? Yeah, no, and that's right. And that, that's part of the whole process I'm talking about. That's why I've made the offer to give the Honourable Energy Minister and the Honourable Environment Minister our amendments before so you guys would have time to look at them. And the, the Parliamentary Council is doing an excellent job under very, very strict... And, and, uh, I mean, they're very, very busy. So I, you know, like I said before, I waited until I got this, give it to you guys, let you discuss it. So we can have uh, a conversation between each other, some debate to fix it. I mean, we're not saying we're perfect, we're not saying these things are exactly right, but if we work together, we can get it exactly right. But if we're too worried about, oh, you're on the government side, we're on the opposition side, just because the opposition says it doesn't mean it's right, or we can't be saying, oh, just because the government wants it, that means it's wrong. This is something that we need to work together because it's something that goes far beyond the walls of this chamber. This goes across the whole province. It's going to affect people across Canada. How many workers do we get from all the way from New Nova Scotia and New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island come over here and work on the rigs, work in the oil field? Lots of them. So this is something that, that needs to be handled professionally and with the best interests of Albertans at hand. Yeah. And at that, I would like to end with a motion to adjourn debate. All right. Can we have a second motion to adjourn debate? We already have one earlier. Okay. We, uh, honorable members, we have a motion to adjourn debate. Would all in favor of the motion please say aye? Aye. Those opposed, please say no. The motion is carried.